All right, so let's begin. Let's have a new canvas. Let's check your layers. Make sure you have one layer over here. And we're going to use this brush. This is a watercolor brush. And I like to use this particular brush. All right, so let's choose that. As for the color, let's use this red color. And let's begin. Oh, one more thing. Let's check the opacity of the brush. Just make sure this is 100%. And the size of the brush, let's set it to 100. So, all right, I think we are good to go. Let's begin. We're going to draw the mushroom head first. So let's see how big the size of this canvas. Okay, so this is the size of our canvas. And let's begin by drawing a circle like this. Okay, well it's, it's an arc. Not really a full circle, it's more like an oval shape. If you complete this round shape, it's gonna look like an oval. So get your shape right, okay? So it's gonna be looking like this, okay? So just stretch, extend this lower, like so, and just continue like this. Draw a curve like that. All right, now that we have this outline, we can now begin to color in. Okay, I'm just gonna zoom in and we're just gonna color it in. Now, because this brush size is a bit small, so it's gonna take up quite a while to color in the, this shape. So what you can do is just increase the size a little and just test it or you can actually if you're using the Apple Pencil you can actually press down onto the screen and you can cover more areas inside this shape so let's color it in Okay, it's all filled. Nice. Now let's dry that color. Now let's choose a dark color. So we're gonna create some shadow. All right, at the bottom. That means the light will come from the top shining down. So that's why we have this red color. But the bottom will not get as much sunlight. So we're gonna have some dark areas over here. So let's paint on this side and this side. Now, do you remember the water brush? I call it. So use this brush and let's choose this. Okay and just drag the color upwards. We're going to spread this dark paint to the top, like this. Okay, and let's dry that. Let's zoom in and see what it looks like. Okay, I think this is alright. Okay, so now what we're going to do is have another layer click on new layer this layer over here we're gonna pray we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna paint the white spots on the mushroom and let's choose this color now this color over here is close to white so let's just use white all right and let's begin make sure the opacity is 100% yeah all right, let's begin. Let's paint over here. About, it's like a part of a circle. I'm gonna paint at the edge over here. Okay, and we have one over here, a big circle. 
you can draw it in the center or just a bit of center like that I am actually pressing on the screen because um, if you have the Apple Pencil you can adjust the pressure of the brush here as well right now we're not going to use um, the water brush because we want to have a clear line over here all right we don't want to have it like this okay but we want to see the defined circle the outline okay let's draw the last spot over here let's paint it there and i think that's okay looking good now let's click here to dry the paint so now this is done next have another layer a new layer now this layer we need to bring this layer all the way down below the head of the mushroom because we're gonna draw the face well the stalk of the mushroom right now for this um the stock of the mushroom i'm gonna choose a color which is this one this is close to beige so once you got that color let's begin we're gonna draw the outline first because we don't start the painting using a pencil because we, we are doing it freestyle and freehand right i mean freestyling where we do not use a pencil to sketch first we, we're going straight using paintbrush and color so that's what we are doing that's why we're gonna have to use this as you can see you can't really see the color so let's increase i mean uh change the hue over here okay press and hold so that you bring up this panel let's just get this color like that click add and this is very is it a dark hue of a of beige let's just dry this paint first and let's begin painting it seems that we are actually using this brush and that's the mistake that i made so make sure that you switch to this brush and now let's just try this and let's begin so here as you can see it's a bit thick because we want just an outline right so your best friend is these two fingers here and tap to undo you can also undo this mistake over here which i did but i'm just gonna leave it there just try it because as in real uh, watercolor painting there is no way that you can erase your mistakes so what we can do is just layer it on so let's begin we're gonna draw an outline like this so let's paint a line downwards and then to the side and then upwards connecting to this bottom over here the bottom of uh, the head the side of this mushroom head now that we have this let's paint over at the top and color it in all right i think it looks pretty good i like the way the color of the paintbrush darkens away on this side where the color actually accumulates here it's a nice touch gives it that a very convincing watercolor effect now let's try this and shall we have another layer for the eyes i think we shall have another layer over here so make sure that this layer is on top of the face or shall we call the body of the mushroom now for this make sure that you are using a dark color 
let's see this is close to brown really so I'm gonna drag it down and make it close to black now for the eyes it's pretty simple we're just gonna draw a line like this one on the left not too thick and not too thin and make sure you space it just right if you have one side which is bigger than the other side so make sure this side gets the same treatment as well what I mean is change it to the same size if it's big on the right make sure on your left is also big but the overall look has to be like this and let's make it longer like this okay so make sure you have some space here and a bit of space here like this now let's dry this and let's change this color and that let's pick that white color that we used previously for the spots over here now we're gonna draw the reflection on the eyes so we're gonna place it over here and place it over here and dry we're done very nice now we are going to draw oh that's it oh this is the spots right if I turn off the visibility you don't see the spots anymore but I digress so let's have another layer now this layer let's drag it all the way up over here this is going to be the outline so make sure you choose a black color or the color that we had just now now that we have this color I am going to choose this ink pen and I think this one will be good I choose the second one and now we're gonna draw the outline for the whole thing now carefully you need to control the way you hold your pen now have a look here now this pen is actually quite thin now make sure you adjust the size of this pen I'm gonna choose to make it all the way up to size 30.2 let's see how big this is all right this looks good now let's paint well actually I'm gonna draw using this ink pen and just draw if you can do one whole full motion in one stroke that'll be good if not break it up okay now let's continue down over here as well and lastly here oh I made a mistake so two fingers on screen undo you can't really do that with the real watercolor can you so if you have if you did a mistake with uh, a real watercolor on paper you just have to cover up your error with more paint or something like that all right so you see there's a bit of a mess over here as well as here but that's okay let's try this paint and we're done this is the mushroom so after you're done with this what you can do right is have another layer and put it here now let's have some fun shall we because when we use this Indian ink pen what we can do is this see you have this nice effect but the problem with tire sui sketches is that you can actually see see this we can actually see this bounding box 
which is not very good. I'm gonna reduce the size. Let's see whether there is an effect. Do we still see this bounding box? We do still see this bounding box. Now this happens for this brush, but does it happen for this one? Let's see. Now for this brush, we don't actually have this splatter effect. So that's uh, too bad. But hey, let's just undo this one first. Now, previous versions of Thai Sui Sketches Pro, they do not have that issue where, you see? Ah, so you see, now we don't really see much of the bounding box, but let's try again. Now we do see this bounding box. Do you see this? Yeah, it's not very pleasant to look like look, to look at. So let's not use this effect. I used this effect previously because there's no such thing as this thing. Well, what can I say? I hope the developers of Thai Sui have a look at this and improve on this because it's. Mm, it's not very visually appealing like this So let's undo that. Let's use another Tool here yeah, to have a splatter effect. So this is the airbrush So let's see how good this airbrush will be. I'm gonna use this color. I just want to splatter As you can see there is a I don't think you can see it on the camera. So I'm just gonna undo that I am going to set the size over here and the opacity all the way up to the max. Alright, now this splash is much better, but let's make it, let's undo and I'm going to increase the size of this airbrush. Alright, so it's going to look like this. Maybe I should decrease the opacity to about 50%. Alright, let's see. Undo this. 50% uh, is not so good. Maybe 70%. Undo this. And 70% uh, is not looking like what I want it to look like. It has to look like a, you know, splashes of accidental splashes of watercolor paint, you know, something like this. But it is still pretty light. So let's bump it up to maybe 90. Also not so good. Now the strangest things happening over here. Why is it not dark? Let's just undo this. That's the thing with Tai Sui, it's always unpredictable like this because there are still glitches that I find with the with the app. Anyway, I'm just ranting over here. And perhaps that's why I stayed away from Tai Sui for quite a while now because of the of all the glitches which still has not been uh, fixed so so yeah so what right now what we have is the splashes around this so airbrush right there's a lot of uh, what do you call this splashes here dots over here it's just too much as compared to this brush where I can actually splatter like this and I can actually control the splatter to smaller size not too much splatter but you know this is an option that you can go for but in this case it's a bit sad for me because I would like to have that effect from the ink brush again, which I used uh, previously in my previous videos. But hey, can't win all the time, right? So for this, I'm just gonna use a new layer, and I'm just gonna paint the background. 
but just make sure that you place this layer right at the bottom over here all right this is the bottommost layer I'm gonna use the paintbrush and let's use a different brush here maybe we'll use this brush and I'm gonna use this color I'm gonna set the opacity lower to maybe 70% and increase the size to 70 no is it 70 no 1 1 120 let's set it to 120 maybe 120 is a little too big maybe 90 all right so I'm just gonna paint like this increase the size a bit yeah okay and now use the water brush here I call it water brush let's increase the size let's just push the color outwards like this and dry so this is a painting of toad the mushroom all right so that was an easy one i hope you enjoyed this and i'll see you in the next video